van het Schotland, de British Open kampioen van 2016, de Schotse Open kampioen van 2017, Cammy Cameron Manzi! En dan zijn tegenstander een man met veel titels op zijn naam. Hij gaat aan zijn zesde de Jars Masters beginnen. Stond hier al twee keer in de kwartfinale. Vijf keer in de finale van een major. It's Chizzy Dave Chisnall! Just two more games left for you in the afternoon session here at the Dutch Darts Masters. Ian White, the number nine seed, takes on the Auckland Darts Masters champion Kyle Anderson in the final game of the session. But right now, it is the professor, Dave Chisnell, number eight seed. A man who was only stopped by Michael Van Gerwen last time out on the Euro Tour. Back-to-back -back 107 averages in his two games. He was superb, but not quite enough to stop MVG. He was magnificent in Sindelfingen, and hoping to take that kind of form into his game with Cameron Menzies. Unpredictable is Cameron. He's made a final of a challenge tour this year. In fact, he hit a nine darter in qualifying for one of these Euro tours as well. He averaged more than 96 and a 6-1 win over Kevin Munch. He gave a quite a frank assessment of his state of mind during that game at the end of the match. But he is capable of doing very, very dangerous things. It's Chizzy versus Cammy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, Cameron, and through first. Came on! And it's Murphy in the comms box with me. Thanks, Dawson. And, yeah, Dave Chisnell likely to put Cameron Menzies <laughs> under much more pressure than Kevin Munch managed yesterday. And as you said, the darts that he was throwing last weekend were very encouraging for Dave Chisnell. He took great pride in taking four legs off Michael Van Gerwen, but such was the mood that MVG wow. was in that it was one bad visit in that match at mm. cost Dave Chisnell at a score of 43, which was duly punished by a maximum. And the rest, as they say, was history. Chisnell. But Chisnell, in this battle with Michael Smith to seal a World Cup place. Chisnell was there last year, of course, for the first time. He's in pole position to be there again with Rob Cross, who's opted out of the Dutch Darts Masters ahead of Thursday's Premier League finals. And it looks like Chisnell might be at it again. Yeah, Michael Smith was due to play this afternoon. That's been moved to this evening because of Rob Cross's withdrawal. So... The two St. Helens men fighting out for that spot in the England World Cup of Darts team. Yeah, well, two St. Helens men fight it out tonight. Smith and Stephen Bunting. Mm. 53. Not quite enough for Chizzy there, you feel. One run out. Certainly not now. Or is it? Is it Chiz? Ooh. Well, I must Nine say, I like the Cameron triple seventeen top top shot in that scenario. Game shot on the first Menzies leg. hits top Cameron to take Menzies. the first leg. 
because finding the leg take to throw first treble with the first kick start, on. you've got the option of going for a couple of doubles, haven't you? If you go for the treble 20, that option is eliminated. 45. And why would you want to go for a couple of doubles? Because they are bigger targets than the trebles. And going for and two darts in the same bed, if you get one there, it can help you find another one there. Particularly Chizzy, who is so adept at bunching his darts together in that treble 20. You would think if he gets one in the right place in that double top, he'd be in a very good position to just follow it in. Yeah, and it's about like, leg Eight. management, isn't it? You wouldn't do it if your opponent was back on 200 nod, but he's on 48. Going to get two darts for the leg. Why not give yourself the best chance possible? Nine. Yeah, if it has to go in that visit. And it did do in that one because Cammy took out the 48 with very little bother at all. And Winner! fires in his first maximum. So Cameron in Leverkusen in Saarbrücken won his opening games in both went out first round of the Austrian darts open in Graz but he's already accruing a big old chunk of money and looking to make the European Championship for the first time as Chizzy makes it two maxes it's a hundred apiece here Move back to the centre of the hockey there, Cameron Menzies. Maybe he should have done. Again, about giving yourself the best chance possible, isn't it? Not throwing from where he normally throws from. This time, Dave Chisnell has to make a move. Game Sean Sagaleg. Dave Chisnell, third leg Cameron. He does it rather more effectively. Well, we always mention about Chizzy's scoring and it being the doubles that will decide whether he wins games. The scoring will determine how many chances he gets. But we've seen him do this a couple of times. And the best shot he thought of the entire weekend that he yes. took out last week, we had a shot of 80, and he missed the 20, hit the 1, but then gave himself some extra time, hit wow. trouble 13, wow. gave himself a little bit more time, and took out double top. And we are seeing him just give himself a moment to compose himself when he's got those doubles, and it's worked there for him. Six. has said in the past he doesn't know what to do he's, he's, he's been stopping and missing them he's been going straight at them and missing them and he just bamboozled wow, his right planet like mind into thinking that he, he just doesn't have a tactic but he seems to have settled on one now well, it's fits and starts in the early part of this contest as Menzies decided to go for the treble 18 route he didn't find the Big segment, but leaves a two dart finish when he returns. One round of folks. He needed to fill it up to leave anything. Game shot on the third leg. Cameron Menzies, full play game to two players. We've already seen one player in the world's top ten depart the tournament. That was James Wade last night, the hands of Crystal Red. Chisnell, the highest ranked player that's been in action so far. Of course, we're going to see Tulevich, Gurney, Wright, and Van Gerwen. They're all above him in the order of merit. And I'm sure that they will produce plenty of darts like that. The second 180 for Cameron Menzies. Yeah, and you may be wondering why Dave Chisnell, world number seven, has an eight next to him, and why, say, Joe Cullen, who's down in the teens has the number seven he was the seventh seed 44. highest seeded player knocked out so far the only other guy to go was John Henderson the number 14 seed well this is seeded on the one year order of merit so that's how they've played in Six floor seven. events including these ones but the pro tour events and the Euro Tours over the last 12 months, whereas the world ranking is everything all your big TV Nine tournaments, the world championship all that over a two year spell two different orders of merit that you're looking at. Thirty. Messi leaves that 1-3-1 one, one again and presumably he'd go the same route as last time. One round and 35. Well, he's had a look around this time. 31. And he, I think he 
He's a little frustrated that he's left that, but he has gone the same route. And it's exactly the same outcome. No dart at double. And Menzies gets two. Last time he hit tops. Last leg he hit tens. This time he hits neither. Time you require 40. And he's missed a dart at tops and tens. In this leg and in that second leg that he lost. But he might be allowed back. Game shot the full He isn't, it's two apiece. One run up, faulty. And Cameron Menzies could genuinely think, you know, I could be 4 0 up here against Chizzy, a guy he's not come up against seven. before. Yeah, I'm sure that Menzies will relish playing the likes of Dave Chisnell. We one saw him first off against four. Michael Van Gerwen in an early European Tour event this year. In fact, was that his first? It was. It was in Leverkusen. The European Darts Open. The Bay Arena. One right up, oh, opposite the Bay Arena, the Osterman Arena. And he was a, a couple of missed doubles away from really pushing Van Gogh and he was in that game and Van Gogh and didn't really know what to make of Cameron Menzies. One hundred. How many require 144? Can Cameron Menzies make of this? Not much, but he's got a bit of time on his side once again. 64. And to be honest, it's not often when you're playing someone like Dave Chisholm that you find yourself in that position. You're constantly no. having a bit in hand in legs. Well, he's, he's matched him on the score. How many require 80? And can still do this, but not anymore. Just a little bit left with a little bit right, sorry, with 13. both of the first darts he threw. Dave, you require 144. Well, can he find something to spark him into life here, Dave Chisnell? Forty. No, he can't. Only require 48. All right. Interesting decision from Game Cameron there. Cameron Takes out double eight, eight, but he's chosen to leave himself double sixteen. I think, unless that angry remonstration, he was so angry that he had left double sixteen. He was trying to leave tops because he had been leaving tops early on in the game, and seems seems to be a double top kind of man. Yeah, but I'd missed it a couple of times, so maybe it was a change of mo. One hundred. Interesting that Dave Chisnell uh, opted not to fly to this tournament, wasn't it? He 94. came across on the Euro Tunnel. Long drive, a journey that took what about ten hours when it could have been twelve, taken. I think. Yeah. Oh. I flew across from a similar part of the country, and it took about half an hour in the air. Oh, bully for you. Missed out on the big chizzy road trip. I wasn't offered a oh. lift by uh, Dave and his manager. One right up, 40. That might give Chisnell a lift, a 140 to leave tops. However, One Cameron Menzies right in the rear view mirror. Game shot on the sixth leg. They chisel seventh leg Cameron the put first. Well, wow. wow. Cameron, wow. you feel, is the aggressor here. The aggressor against the professor. That's exactly, exactly the situation. But you know, at any point, wow. Chizzy can just burst into life and he just starts hitting that treble 20 with almost every single scoring dart that he throws. But look at the first nine average. There's almost 20 points between wow. them. If you put your hand across the bottom right of your screen and didn't know which player was where, you would assume that those figures were next to the opposite names. Oh, jeez! Well, that does not help. Mendes is ready to throw the dart as Chisnell was still retrieving a couple of, well, 120 points off the floor. 
96. Well, this just makes this leg a lot more comfortable for Cameron. He's 250 points clear. But Chisnell still hadn't settled down when he... He was still shaking his head when he returned to the hockey. And he might be shaking it even more. Cameron, you require 131. Ah, treble 17. Were we going to say a case of Menz is going for top stops when he shouldn't have? I'd almost certainly, I think, there. Cameron Menz is very much a law unto himself. One. Cameron requires 76. Double eight. Game shot on the seventh leg. Made to look very, Cameron very Menzies. simple by Eight the Scotsman there. Well, the battle of the unimaginative nicknames could well be going the distance at this rate. Chizzy oh, deciding not to try and produce a 180 there. I think once bitten, twice shy for Dave Chisholm. I haven't seen 120 points on the floor in the previous leg. One and well, you've dubbed Dave Chisnell the professor. What would you call Cameron Menzies if you were going to give him a proper darts nickname rather than Cammy? I'm not quite sure. One red it's a very difficult one. We're not, we're not seeing enough of Cow. I think he's fantastically entertaining. He's always good value to watch, whether he's playing brilliantly or nowhere near his best. Bolting. He's always compelling viewing. But sometimes he can play fantastically. And this one is one of those days. Bolting. Because he is averaging right up near the 100 mark here, Cameron Menzies. He's on another 11 data. And it would put wow, him in charge of this one. 98. 98 then. And still go. No longer. And here, Chisnell in that kind of range again. 57. Would leave 80. He did go downstairs. Hasn't availed himself a dart at double. 51. And we could be seeing two out of two. Top Game 10 players depart the because Cameron, Cameron Menzies is just a leg away from the finish and from finishing Dave Chisnell's off. campaign in Zvola this weekend. Well, Dave Chisnell was only stopped by a world-class display from Michael Van Gerwen last time out on the Euro Tour. This has been very, very good from Cameron Menzies. 3 one he's 40% in his doubles and a 99 average. That is dangerous. It is more than competitive. Chizzy fully 20 points <laughs> off what he averaged the last two times we saw him take to the Euro Tour stage. Yeah, a million miles apart, the performances Six that we've seen from Dave Chisnell and beat him with 107 in his last match on the European Tour. Producing Nine nothing like it here. And I know they're good mates, but Michael Smith won't be too distressed to see his friend Dave Chisnell go out with no ranking money at this second round stage. He might be starting to wonder why he bothered to turn up. <laughs> Michael Smith would need to win this whole thing and he's struggling himself with illness and he's got a very tough game against his fellow St. Helens thrower Stephen Bunting tonight. But he will be quite happy just for this weekend, for his mate Chizzy, not to be picking up any ranking money with that World Cup of Dart spot in the England team on the line. Well, it could be done right here. Right now. Not now. But yeah, the reason I say that is because Dave Chisnell's another man who's on this injury list. He is. He's been struggling. Had a hernia operation at the start of the year. He's been playing some fantastic stuff and been getting seemingly better and better and closer and closer to winning a title. But I don't think he's going to win the title this weekend because Cameron Menzies has just missed three match darts. Dave, you require 103. Well, there's your bit of luck, Dave. Can you take advantage? Only a possible one dart at double. Needs to find a treble first. He's done that bit. Eighty-three. Well, surely now. The race Cameron is run for Dave Chisnell 20. at the Dutch Darts Masters. Cameron Menzies well, has missed more match darts Ten and more. Score. And to be honest, he's got nowhere near the intended targets there. That's a worry. Wild from Cameron Menzies. <laughs> Absolutely flabbergasted by his own misses.
And that is a break of throw. Dave Chisnell does need to get another break in the last leg decider, but he's got to hold here first. And that is no guarantee because Cameron, well, he's still averaging almost 10 points clear of Chizzy. You think he's going to get chances. He has missed six match darts. Yeah, and you've got to wonder what mental effect that has on men's is because going for the double again could be even harder should the opportunity 19. present itself. All the doubles are the same size, but the one to win the match seems smaller, doesn't it? We saw a shot of Roger there, Chizzy's manager, and you might have just caught Chizzy shaking his head looking towards Rog after a couple of very poor opening visits in this leg. And that one is not much better. Advantage, Cameron Menzies. A strong advantage. One and that might be enough. Chizzy hit 180s in the first two legs of this game. He has not hit one since. Has Until just now. Wow, oh. right out, folks. Not hit one since. Cameron Menzies has already got himself down to a finish. Wow, right out, folks. Now got himself down to a two darter. All Dave Chisnell can do is hit and hook. Well, Cameron, the wow, conventional wow, wisdom wow, says 20, start on the 20s. Oh, he's conventional. And he finds the winning dart and sinks to his knees. Cameron Menzies is through to the final day of a European Tour event. Yeah, big win for Cameron Menzies as Dave Chisnell departs. The second player from the top 10 to leave the Dutch Darts Masters following James Wade's exit in round one yesterday. Dave Chisnell follows in round two today. Ian White coming up next against Kyle Anderson. But it's Cameron Menzies, the story of the afternoon so far. He defeats Dave Chisnell and we are going to hear from Cammy talking to Danny right now. Yeah, don't mind this, it's only a live broadcast across the entire world. <laughs> Congratulations. You are through to the final day of a European Tour event for the first time in your brief PDC career. You've beaten a seeded player and beaten him well. I think Chesley likes me too much. I've known Chesley for a long time and, and I know Chesley didn't play the way he can. Um, but when your luck's going, your luck's going, so I'll, I'll, I'll just say when you're going about your form, or luck, ride the waves, ride the waves. It's been pretty good stuff from you so far this weekend, and if you turn up tomorrow, you've won tournaments in the BDO. I mean, this could happen, couldn't it? I've won too much in the BDO, but you don't have guys like Van Gerwen, and Price. Like, you don't, no offence to the BDO, but we have a lot of good players in the BDO, but you don't have... You know, your, your top dogs at Barney, Price, Anderson, even, even Max Hawk. These guys had 95 to 105 averages all the time. Video. The guys can do that, but not as consistent. I hope I'm not being cheeky soon, that. But I love every moment playing here and finally winning a game on a Saturday. It, it makes the, I need to text the boss because. I wasn't getting this weekend off, so I, I need to take something. Thank you. <laughs> it was worth it. Congratulations. Thank you, Cameron Menzies, Cammy, through to the final.